What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon opening. We're opening up a sealed product that actually is super worth it. We talked about this in our latest Pokemart video, and it is the Pale Moon GX box featuring Trevenant and Dust Noir. Um, yeah, it's super rare that uh, a sealed product comes out, and kind of like the value of the individual pieces of the product, like actually exceed the MSRP. Uh, so that's why I had my eye on this. And actually I want to create some constructed decks with this. So I won't be able to show the code cards because I want to create this in PTCGO. Um, but yeah, the promo is still going for like 10 bucks right now. The code card is like six on eBay and the jumbo card is like five. I have no idea what people do with jumbo cards. I think they're cool, but beyond having like one or two, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with them after that. Uh, if you know what the appeal is to a jumbo card as far as like why people would buy them for whatever, six bucks, uh, let me know in a comment down below. But uh, yeah, we got three of these boxes and we'll see if we can't get anything good looks like it has unified minds two unified minds lost thunder and then yeah the xy pack but uh yeah really excited about it let's do this all right so i just got these boxes open and i'm reminded with um i don't think this affects it much but maybe one reason the card is actually kind of expensive is the tabs um you know most of the time i get it out pretty good give went with the old just smack it method but not always, oh my gosh, this is terrible. So yeah, the, clearly the tab was like right there and coming out, it just really got a hold on the card. And man, this is so frustrating. These tab things are terrible. Stop using them, seriously. I, I wonder if this card is even playable. So, ugh, it doesn't even get in the sleeve. Um, I don't know, maybe double sleeve. Oh man, that's actually, it's hard to tell from there. But yeah, that's frustrating. Let's take a look at the card itself. So I feel like one popular thing is to run this in the kind of like mischievous turn one mischievous into reset stamp deck, into beast ring, into tag switch to this guy. So its first attack is great. I feel like there's even some potential in Malamar for this with a lot of psychic energies. Uh, choose does 150, so it's Night Watch 150, choose two random cards from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals those cards and shuffles them into your deck. So basically attacking the hand size. Um, I feel like this is amazing. The obvious outs are like Cynthia Lily will bas basically nullify the attack, but in absence of those, if you can do this like turn one, especially with the reset stamp, um, actually forget the attack, but like, or if you go second, you do that, um, you can bring your opponent down to like one card potentially. And if they don't have Lily Cynthia, it's, that's GG right there. Uh, Pale Moon GX is not great. At the end of your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon will be knocked out. If you have at least one energy, uh, discard all energies attacked her. So if you have three energy, it's not bad just to wipe out, you know, let's say you're up against like Reshizard or something like that, or even Mewtwo, and you can get rid of their six energy, their four energy if it's Mewtwo. Uh, so that's pretty good. The actual part about them being knocked out, they just have to switch. So that's not great. I feel like Night Watch is kind of like what this card's all about. Um, but uh, all right, let's get into these packs. So we have three Steam Siege to start. The, yeah, the necessary formality that is XY. They must be running short on XY packs, right? How many? <laughs> like, those, these products are so old. All right, but let's see what we can get. Tangrowth, Abupalm, you know, I'm just not familiar with these arts, so sometimes we get some really nice gems. Rufflet. Oshawott. Oh, and when we were talking about like our price analysis, we uh, forgot the obvious thing that there's four packs in here. So, um, you know, except for that one damage card, the promo contents make up the entire cost, if not more, of the box compared to MSRP. And then you got four packs per box as well. Yeah, eh, let's go with like three and a half packs because, uh, yeah, XY. But hey, I mean, Lost Thunder, like, that's hard to pick up. And uh, eh, now that custom catcher is gone, or no, not the custom catcher is price has dropped significantly from its ten dollar mark um, because of great catcher. But yeah, lost thunder, so very happy about that. All right, clink, Tangela is our reverse, and Amaldo. Yeah, so it's pretty rare that we'll open up some like seal product that isn't hasn't just been released. Um, but yeah, sometimes they just give out some really good gems. I feel like as far as sealed product that's really good, this one comes to mind, the Mewtwo partnership tin, the uh, Arena deck Ultra Necrozma one, absolute 
you know, grand slam with that thing, uh, with the two Jirachis in there. Uh, let's see, what else? I, I still like the Reshizard box. You know, Reshizard still a pretty good card in my opinion. All right, nothing from XY, but that's okay. Let's move on to these Lost Thunder. A lot of potential here. Let's see, some Blacephalon would be nice. I feel like there's some uh, some good uncommons. Uh, spell tag. I'm sure there's others that I just can't remember. Oh wait, that's a Hidden Fates card trick. Got to get that out of my system. Ether Foundation employee. Curlia. Wow, oh, we pulled so many shiny Curlias. Mantine, Combi, Marini, Larvitar, Slowpoke, Cubchoo. Ooh, Thunder Mountain. Very useful card in any electric deck. Kind of allows you to do like things like turn one full blitz if you have Tapu Coco. Oh, just thinking about these jumbo cards and <laughs> I still have no idea what what people use them for. Again, if you know, let me know in a comment down below. But uh, you know, with all the sword and shield stuff in Giganto Max, whatever it's called, like <laughs> maybe that's what people use it for. <laughs> like, hey, I play this card, but uh, I'm also going to Giga Max it. So here, ooh, mixed herb, nice. So here's my jumbo card. That's the only thing I can think of. All right, Houndor, Poiple, nice. Oh, we we need the um, more Naganados. Larvitar, Mareep, and Lantern. Luckily, I got some League promos, so managed to create an IRL, but uh, don't have any in in online. And if you guys have, have yet to catch one of our streams, we stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday at 7 p.m. EST. And we do a stream additional days, but those will be kind of like our, you know, for sure days guaranteed so definitely join us uh, we have managed to get basically the top spot as far as viewer count in PTCGO so I think that's really amazing especially considering that we haven't been doing this for that long so huge shout out to all the people that watch the stream and support it uh, we do have a, a few uh, subs on Twitch so shout outs to get wrecked EMC and Matt champ thank you so much and yeah, if you happen to have a Twitch Prime sub you haven't used, uh, swing by the stream if you like it. And uh, yeah, would appreciate that sub. All right, Karate Belt. All right, now we're on to Unified Minds. Obviously, Mewtwo is still a super good card. Mana, Pikachu, Bidoof, a Yanma, and all right. So far, we have not gotten a single hit. Uh, so it's a good thing there's that these boxes are packed with so much value before the packs. Because, yeah, we're not getting any from them. This is almost bringing me, uh, remind me of that Hidden Fates opening. It's like, oh my gosh, where has all of our luck gone? Um, Alright, let's see. We have Azelf, Dedene, Luminion, Sneasel, a Magnemite, a Slakekoth, Axu, Fletchinder, Nummel, uh, ooh, Behemoth. Actually, this is still nice. Um, I don't think I like the idea of playing this deck, but basically Behemoth, uh, and then switch to Pokedoll, and then you use things like uh, whatever Flabebe involves into Florges and Munchlax to get, keep getting the doll back. Super annoying. Um, I appreciate that those mechanics exist and those decks are possible. They are so annoying, though. <laughs> it's a... Uh, Makes me not want to play them, but uh, I appreciate that they exist. All right, let's see. Blaine's Quiz Show, Oranguru, Weakness Guard. Actually, that's a pretty good card. Pikachu, Hoot Hoot. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that Zapdos Hoot Hoot. Scraggy, Nummel, a Tynamo, a Kangaskhan with Raichus in the background. Ooh, another Behemoth. All right, as you know, we're not getting any kind of ultra rares, but our rare slots actually are not bad. All right, we got three packs left. Can we get at least something? Some kind of ultra rare? We have to make up for that damage guard. All right, the barrel, Dewblade, Orangaroo, Cubone, Yanma, a Young Goose, Cryogonal. Always struggle to say that one. A Litwick, 
Scraggy is our reverse. And then that Kangaskhan again. Oh, I guess that reverse was a rare or a rare. A reverse foil. Ah, Stunfisk. The Galarian Stunfisk. It's very funny. It's like a bear trap. And I. You know, there's there's a, a lot of little things I appreciate in the game. Kind of like how they made it like a Pokeball. <laughs> so it's, it's literally a trap where it's like, hey, look, it's a Pokeball. Nope, it's a Stunfisk. Like the card wasn't troll enough. Oh, here's that Snack Search thing that I was talking about for Behemoth to grab up the Poke Dolls. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin if heads. Uh, put a card from discard pot on top of your deck. You can use, if you use this ability, your turn ends. Uh, the turn ends is not great though. Stunfisk, Onyx, Finian, a Grimer, Carablast, Fly, Flinium Z, Leaveny. Oh my. Alright, we might get completely shut out out of 12 packs. That is rough. It's like. Uh, we already put some value in this, so take all the good packs out, I guess. Alright, Psychic Energy, Archon, Yan Mega, Ear Ringing Bell, Magmar, Cottony, Snow Runt, Tynamo, a Meditite, Cosmog, and for our last card, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't sleep on this product. I think it's a great pickup for if you just want to open some packs and you can still get some value out of the promos, whether it's for trade or whatever. Um, and so, as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Oh my gosh, this is our third Kangaskhan. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.